and welcome to another video tutorial with Merklin of Sweden. Today we're going to talk about backdrops. My first like five or six layouts uh, didn't have any permanent backdrops. Uh, that was because they were on a kind of a rectangular shaped table in the middle of the room and then it's not so convenient to have a backdrop. Uh, instead I had a, I made a, a, a temporary one. This one I moved around when I took photos. It's on uh, glued onto a styrofoam board. Works very good. It really enhances the look of the photos and the films when you have a bit of a backdrop. And when you don't need it, you just remove it. So very easy. For this uh, last layout, I wanted a, a, a permanent backdrop. So uh, first I tried to paint one, not so successful. Um, and, and then I um, decided to buy a, a ready-made one uh, and uh, glue it in place. Uh, however, I got some air bubbles and wrinkles and stuff and the corners weren't that good. So uh, second time around it started to look good. That's why I'm doing this uh, tutorial. Uh, just to help you avoid the mistakes that I did. Uh, I also see in various forums that there are a lot of questions asked on what uh, glue to use and such things. And we'll go over all that now. I use a 4mm wood board. For the corners I bend the board and that is done with hot water and then in the bathtub like this. I then put something heavy on it and against a wall like this so it stays into the shape I formed it. And then I put just a piece of tape on top like this so it doesn't slide upwards. Then I let it dry. After a few hours the board has dried and then it does have the curve you gave it. And this will be permanent and ready for fixing with the other parts and also to uh, put uh, the, the backdrop on. In the joints I put the same type of board as a, a doubler on the back and I make that about one decimeter wide. I both glue the doubler and also I fix it with the screws all along the edge. I then uh, plaster the joint and sand it with uh, just a normal sanding paper. This is to make sure that uh, the joint will not be seen through the backdrop. I use this uh, backdrop from Faller but uh, there are numerous manufacturers out there. Uh, you can even have your custom backdrop based on the photos you have. I selected this backdrop because it's endlessly joinable, meaning with these two part numbers you can get an endless backdrop, which is good if you have long walls. I use a wall covering adhesive for woven wallpapers. I'm basically using the same tools and uh, technique as when I decorate my home. Meaning I use a roller to apply the adhesive, uh, the glue, on the back side of the wallpaper, the backdrop. With the roller you cover the entire backdrop section in seconds. The water in the glue will make the paper expand. So I leave it four minutes like this uh, to uh, uh, complete the expansion. If you don't, there is a big risk that you will have bubbles, air bubbles and the wrinkles. Uh, and that is obviously not what you want to do. Then it's just to put it on the wooden board. Make sure that uh, it follows the edges so you get a, a straight and easy process to join it with the next section later on. I use a brush. Um, a wallpaper application brush to wipe out any air bubbles or wrinkles. I work from the middle and outwards. Then I cut away the white edge and start with the next section which is marked B in this pack. 
I apply glue on that and put that slightly overlapping with the previous section. That is because when this uh, paper dries it will shrink a bit and you don't want to have a white line or wooden wood board line in the middle of your backdrop. The overlap will not be visible later when you have your lights correctly placed. Any glue on the front is removed with a wetted soft cloth. It's in general better to have the backdrop in place already when you start to build your layout, but hey, you can't figure everything out from start. So then it's great to have a helping hand like this. The backdrop can also be combined with mirrors to extend the road or, like in this case, extend the city. See, this guy has just built half of the city. The rest of the city is in the mirrors. And this is the final result. Here you can see the backdrop in the background. You don't really see it, you see the train, but it's there and it fills out the scene in a beautiful way. Thank you very much for watching the tutorial. Uh, if you like it, please help me by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of the videos coming up on my channel, please subscribe to the channel and you will get a notification once next video goes live. There is also a video index, uh, whereas all the videos are listed under uh, uh, their topic, like landscape and scenery, uh, technical stuff, uh, on mrrtutorials.com. Uh, they will find all of the videos. There are also playlists on the channel page on YouTube, so you can change, uh, choose uh, a landscape and scenery for instance, and all of those uh, videos will play in a row. Very convenient. Alright, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.